So today we might go back quite far, but 1977 definitely gave us a superstar. Hello fellow doll lovers, Barbie Nation here. Welcome back to my channel. Everyone, thanks again for tuning into another video with me today. My name is Aryan, aka Barbie Nation, and what I do is I collect dolls, I play with dolls, I talk about dolls, and every now and then I give them a super cute makeover. So if you're into anything cute, sweet, and petite, definitely subscribe to my channel to get some lovely pastel glitters on your screen. Now let's dive into some super stardom today. Here we go. you to meet new superstar Barbie doll. With long streaked hair, even jewelry you can put on or take off. And now when you buy new superstar Barbie, you get this necklace free while supplies last. Or when you buy any superstar Barbie fashion, you get a free bracelet while supplies last. They're so beautiful. Superstar Barbie doll comes with necklace, earrings, rings, shoes, and gown from Mattel. So today I am taking a quick look at Barbie Superstar Reproduction Dolls, Barbie and Christy. Gosh, am I happy with this reproduction. Oh my gosh. I think she was the first with this new Superstar face sculpt and I think she also, I think Barbie also had quite a hard time in the 70s. I think her sales in that time period kind of dropped very you know, significantly that Mattel really thought like, okay guys, let's stop for a minute here and think about what we're doing and think about what these little kids want and let's rebrand this girl and give her a super pink makeover because that is what the kids want these days. And boy, am I happy they did that. Because for me, that is really from that day and age, that's really when Barbie really uh, speaks to me. I really love like the first uh, looks of Barbie and the whole classic vibe that it gives off. But for me, and especially my childhood nostalgia hit, is really the superstar face. So I grew up in the 90s, so definitely that is my era that I am just obsessed about. But also the dolls in throughout the 80s really give off that super, super pink box, pink poofy gown. Yeah, that is just Barbie to me. So Superstar Barbie started it all in 1997 and gosh, these two queens. I think they are equally important as Barbie number one because they are so iconic. You know, Barbie number one really stands for, for that era of Barbie and Superstar Barbie really stands for the whole superstar era and from that day on she really became the pink iconic queen that she is today or that people refer to you know with the coming hashtag of hashtag barbie core that is what immediately speaks barbie to everyone you know that super pink super bright um aesthetic so so last year we got treated to superstar christy actually boy were we happy with that superstar christy because she was really hard to collect for us collectors if you wanted to collect bar an, an original superstar christy it is just almost like one impossible to find and even if you do find her you were definitely not able to afford her so thank you Mattel. for giving us a chance to add this beauty to our collection. So I already had Christy out of the box and one in the box and Superstar Barbie here will also be unboxed. So let's look at their super classic pink boxes. I mean, these are the kind of boxes that people make. People recreate in their Halloween costumes, in their photo settings. If they wanna make a Barbie box to photograph people in, these are the boxes people create. So super iconic, speaks to every kind of Barbie lover and yeah, so happy. So let's get into this superstar fantasy and just read the boxes because I always think these 
um, these little stories really take us back to that moment when she was released. So, let's start off with Christy over here. <coughs> In 1997, as glitz and glam took over the world, Barbie entered the superstar era, wowing fans with fantastic fashions and hairstyles. This dazzling reproduction celebrates superstar Christie, one of the most fabulous dolls from the era, dressed in a radiant yellow evening gown with a glittering ruffle boa. Christie is ready to hit the town and disco. Sparkling diamond jewelry and matching yellow heels give her a brilliant glow from head to toe while her long brown hair with stunning copper highlights is pulled back to reveal a gorgeous smile. With a classic twisting waist, posed arms and bendable legs, Superstar Christy is ready to strike a pose, let the music swell and dance the night away. See? I mean, when you hear that text, you get all kinds of feels. And you really feel the disco hit you when you look at her. That yellow is so good on her. And the glittery boa and that hair indeed with the copper accents. So gorgeous. So 70s. So disco. Love, love, love it. So let's head over to the pink queen herself, superstar Barbie. And let's get into her little story. So, in 1997, Barbie entered the dazzling superstar era, wowing fans with her glamorous fashions and hairstyles. This reproduction celebrates superstar Barbie in one of her glitziest looks from the era. Ready to dance the night away, Barbie is dressed in a fabulous pink evening gown with a glittering ruffle boa. Her diamond jewelry sparkles under their disco lights, while matching heels complete her vibrant look. Her classic golden blonde hair with radiant highlights frames her face as she flashes with a picture-perfect smile. With a classic twisting waist, posed arms and bendable legs, Superstar Barbie is ready to paint the town pink. Right, I mean, uh, when they released her, they, fo they found out uh, through a market research, I guess, that people were more into they wanted glam, they wanted, you know, superstardom from a doll. So that's the actually the beginning of this whole glitz and glam era for Barbie. That's when they really decided to turn things around for her and really make her the glam queen that she was during that time. So let's get this baby out and um, put these two lovely queens together unboxed. <laughs> So Superstar Barbie is released and free into the world. Now this hair, wow. You can see the different streaks of blonde that they put into her hair and it really feels super nice. I still think I'm gonna give it a wash though. As you have seen with Christy here, I did remove her hairdo, so to speak, and gave her a wash and look how freaking shiny that hair is. I just really love it like this, you know, undone and not um, in this, you know, half updo. It is really iconic and 
super Barbie, but I think I'm also gonna give her the same treatment as I did with Christy, so they can really be twinning their life together. <laughs> so, for some reason, her pink boa actually feels a bit softer than Christy's. Christy's boa feels more crunchy than Barbie's boa. Yeah, so the material they used on Christie's boa is definitely different than the one that they used for Barbie. And she has like this, um, kind of like this sticky tape on her arms to keep the boa in place. And of course, the back of her dress is buttoned up. And she has the iconic superstar jewelry that they uh, mentioned in the little story. <sighs> Look at these 1977 superstars. I think they are both still available on uh, the Mattel Creations websites. They are both $45. And I think it's a really good price for this reproduction doll. I mean, the quality is definitely there. The face screening is there, no pixelation. So nice face painting, old school 70s bodies, nice feel to the dresses, buttoned up in the back, cute boas, cute accessories. I mean, if you love the 70s, if you love the Superstar Barbie era, definitely add these to your collection because you will not regret them, for sure. Okay, so that's it for today, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And of course, click the bell icon next to the subscribe button to get notified about any new videos that I upload. You can also follow me on Instagram at Barbie Nation. That's usually where I post all of my updates. And until the next video, mwah, big kisses from me and I love you all.